Hello, book two, but I'm back with another paperback parade, and today it is Richard Powers, the great Richard Powers, uh, who has, uh, I don't know how many dozens, uh, possibly over a hundred covers, interior artwork as well. Uh, he was born in 1921, died in 1996, was inducted into the Science Fiction Hall of Fame in 2008, posthumously, and... Uh, he started out uh, doing pulp covers um, earlier on, like the near the end of the pulp era, and continued. Uh, but his style uh, varied at times, um, from uh, sort of a cubist, uh, Picasso-like uh, style. And during the 50s and 60s, he did a lot of covers for Ballantine. He was the uh, art director, basically, for Ballantine books. And uh, uh, later on, uh, he he also did a lot of the interior work for, or interior artwork for um, Easton Press. So if you have any Easton Press science fiction books, uh, especially, uh, you, there could be a good chance that uh, he either oversaw it or did the artwork that was inside. Now, I've got three, well, one scan, um, and it's a book that I do want to get um, uh, with his cover on it. But uh, it's, the first one is No Room for Man by Gordon R. Dixon. And that's just a fabulous uh, cover, and this is a fabulous uh, condition as well. This is a McFadden book. Uh, this was uh, 1963. And uh, that's just a fabulous cover. And it sort of goes over onto the back as well. There's uh, the sort of space type look to it. And um, also, I can't do, I can't have one without doing a Clifford Simak. And this is one that he did a lot of black and white ones, too. This is, this is All the Traps of Earth. And again, it's a McFadden book. And it's a collection of, of short stories. And this was published in, well, it's the second printing from 1967, but originally 1963. And, yeah, and then I'll end up with, I'll finish up with uh, A.E. Van Vogt, Mission to the Stars. And that is somewhat like the first one that I showed you. It has the same sort of color schemes. So, yeah, so Richard Powers, uh, 1921 to... 1996 and you if you're looking at 1950s and 60s uh science fiction you can't miss him um did some great covers for uh isaac asimov he did a whole run of tarzan covers as well but i'm not that thrilled with most of them um his style has been imitated. Uh, there was a British artist uh, that did a lot of covers for uh, New Worlds uh, magazine that is very reminiscent of Richard Powers. Uh, but his, 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 his covers do stand out. Anyway, that's the end of this uh, paperback parade. I will see you next time, book two.